This is an overview of Fathom Analytics. Fathom Analytics is a Google Analytics alternative that is easy to use and it does everything that you need and nothing more. Oh, and it's super simple to set up and understand. And you know what's not simple? Google Analytics 4. Now don't get me wrong, Google Analytics is incredibly powerful, but unless you're a dedicated digital marketer, Google Analytics is probably overkill for you. And speaking for myself, I've gotten better and more relevant data since switching to Fathom because I can actually understand what's going on on my site and how people are using them. So what does Fathom do? Fathom gives you the data you need to understand how people are finding and interacting with your sites and nothing more. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my dashboard so you can see all the things that Fathom does. On your screen is the Fathom dashboard for my company, Descript Mastery. And this site just launched in November, so it doesn't have a ton of traffic yet, but you can at least get the idea of how everything looks. So right away, you can see how simple and clean everything is. Unlike Google Analytics, if you've ever used it, that just overwhelms you with buttons and menus. This is much more calming to look at. And you can't really move widgets around, so this dashboard view that you see here is exactly what you get. Here in the top left, you can switch between your sites, and you can have up to 50 sites with all of Fathom's different plans. But I'll talk more about the plans and pricing later. Here at the top, below the site selection, you can set a time period, so you can search for today, yesterday, last seven days, etc., all the way to all time, and Fathom keeps your history forever. They never delete your data, which is really cool. Besides that, you can compare time periods. So you could compare, for example, this month to the previous month, and you can see how your site is growing or shrinking or whatever's going on. So right below that is this bar here, which is your core data. And the information they give you is people that are currently on your site. So if someone was on your site, you could see that they're there, that they're clicking around, what pages they're on. Um, nobody is on my site at this moment, but if there was, it would show right there. Then you have the number of visitors. And again, this is right now showing just this month and also comparing it to November. So I had 331 visitors so far this month, which is down from last month. And then it shows the views. So how many of those visitors are then going around and clicking around? And then you can see the average time on site. So this is how long they're on your site before they close it. Then you got your bounce rate. This is I forget exactly how this is measured, but basically it means that someone visits your site and then they leave your site without clicking around. And then you have event completions, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. And then below this core data bar, you have it all in this nice graphical layout, which has the dates on the x-axis and then number of visitors on the y-axis. And then you can add all of these things in by just clicking on them and you can get all that data, which is really nice in this nice attractive layout here. And then moving down below that graph, we have our pages and our domain information, which pages visitors are going to. And you can see here that that's my homepage. That's obviously getting the most. It's got 156 entries. So that's telling me that that's the first page that people are seeing. Some people are landing on my course page for the first time, 47 people. And how many of them are unique visitors and then how many views it gets. So one visitor might see the same page multiple times and then this view number is higher, but you can see it's broken down by page. And then if you had subdomains, so if I had, for example, account.descriptmastery.com, then I would be able to see that under the domain section. I have Cal, which is my calendar booking page and Fathom Analytics links in with that. So it gets all the visitor information when they're going to book a call with me. To the right of that, is the refer information. And this tells us where the traffic is coming from. Some of this happens automatically. Some of it is from tracking codes that I've set up, which Fathom makes really easy. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But if it's direct or unknown, it just says that at the top, that's the most common source for me. The next most is Facebook, YouTube is the third most, and so on. And all of these pages are paginated. So this little arrow at the bottom here allows you to just scroll through and see all the information that you have. And this allows you to see how your funnels are doing. So if you have a Facebook and an Instagram and a YouTube, you can see where people are coming from, where, 
where your best audiences are so you can double down on that or so you can fix parts of your funnel that aren't working so well. And so this is tremendously useful information. Now, moving down beyond that, this next row that we have is our demographic information. So this is about the people that are visiting our site. So I can see what device type they're visiting me from, if it's a desktop, if it's a mobile phone, or if it's a tablet. That's really it, just three different types of devices. Obviously, desktop is the most common for my site. That's not common. I'd say phones are usually the most common nowadays. But for whatever reason, a lot of desktop visitors. And then you can see what browser they're coming from. If they're coming from Chrome, which is the most common browser, um, obviously that's the majority. You can scroll over and it's paginated once again. And then the third one is the countries that they're coming from. I got the most from the USA, second most from Canada, United Kingdom. That's, that's to be expected. English speaking countries. And once again, it's paginated. If I scroll over, look at that. I got six people visiting me from Brazil. So pretty cool, pretty cool information. Super useful. Then moving down beyond the demographics row is what's called the events tab. And events allow you to add a little bit of code to your website so that you can track what people are doing. So for example, I've set up an event on this thing called three call purchase clicked. That's one of my tutoring packages where people can book calls with me. Every time they do so, it shows up in my Fathom Analytics. And it's only been used twice, the five call package and the three call package. Or you could also have an event for newsletter signups or anything that, that you want to measure on your site. You can click this manage events button and Fathom walks you through how to set it up. And Fathom's documentation is really good. They use simple language and they just explain how to set up an event so that you can get more granular data about how people are using your site. Beyond that, down here you have what's called UTMs. These are urgent tracking modules. And you've definitely seen these in links. These are ways that you can get more information about how people are interacting with your ads, for example. Or in my YouTube videos, you can see my top one here is YouTube. And so there's a campaign. We have a campaign, which is YouTube. The source, YouTube. The medium is a video versus channel, for example. I have UTM trackings on my videos and on my channel page. And then I can see which video they're coming from. Is it coming from the December tutorial? Is it coming from whichever video? You can set these tracking links to be anything you want, and then it allows you to know how people are finding you. And if you click that build button, it takes you to a page where you can just put in the link that you want people to find, and then you can put all this information in so that you know how people are finding you and which links are getting clicked. And with everything on this page, with any of these pieces of information, like if I only want to see the people who are clicking the December tutorial, I can click on that and it adds a filter. And so I know that 25 visitors clicked on that December tutorial video. It got 30 views to my site. Average person was on for a minute, 18 seconds. And I can see which countries they came from, which browsers, all of that information that we saw before. And then I can clear the filters, I can add multiple filters. So all sorts of different ways that you can look at and analyze this data to improve your funnels and improve your marketing efforts. So like I said, it's everything you need and nothing that you don't. It's nothing extra, it's just the stuff that you need. So moving on, you can track up to 50 sites. I currently have five sites being tracked. And so if I go to my all sites tab, I can see this little snapshot of my other sites and see how they're performing. But moving on, let's talk about Fathom's pricing. Fathom starts at $150 per year for an account that gets less than 100,000 views per month. So all the pricing tiers are based on monthly page views across all your sites. So in my case, I have five sites. As long as I'm under 100,000 page views a month, I can be at this $15 per month tier, or you can switch to yearly, which is $150 per year. And then it goes up from there based on monthly page views all the way down to if you're getting 25 million page views per month, then you'll be paying closer to $5,000 per, per year. And I know some people are probably outraged right now. Like, isn't Google Analytics free? Google Analytics is free. That's awesome. That's a hard price to beat. However, you're probably watching this video because you've gotten so fed up with Google Analytics that you need a better solution. GA4 is so complex 
that for the average business owner, in my opinion, it's unusable. On top of that, you better know that they're hoovering up all your data and using it to sell advertising. There's a saying that if you aren't paying for it, you are the product. But when you use Fathom, you can rest assured you own your own data. There's no limit on how far back you can export data. There's no limits whatsoever on how or when you export your data. You actually own it, which is rare these days. And as a visitor, when you navigate to a site using Fathom, your data, your unique identifiers are hashed. So Fathom and the Fathom user, the website owner, has no way to know who you are personally. And because of that, it also means Fathom is compliant with privacy laws in the US and Europe, and as far as I know, every country in the world. And in terms of site usability, it loads faster. There's not a bunch of trackers and things going on in the background. And it also means you don't have to put up with those cookie pop-up warnings on your site, which just pisses off your visitors. So the last thing I'll say about this company is they seem like they have a lot of integrity. I don't work for them. I don't know them, but I love what they're doing with this business. The two founders have a podcast that I listen to called Above Board, and you can actually find it here in the footer. You can download it on any podcast platform, including YouTube, and they talk about updates to the product and how they're thinking through decisions and how they're steering the company. And they really have an ethic of integrity and just trying to build an enduring product that is simple, but excellent at what it does. And I love that. So if you want to try Fathom for yourself, you can get a free month's trial to give it a shot. My affiliate link is in the description below. Cheers.